Hello guys, it's Polly here, and today we're going to react to Chainsaw Man episode 5. Uh, the title of this episode is Gun Devil. <laughs> Shout out to all the manga readers. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm already, like, you know, emotionally distressed. I'm already ready to cry, and nah. I don't... I mean, not in this episode, but like... In the end of the season i literally hate it every time i watch chainsaw man like i know what i'm going to put myself like through and i don't want to experience the same grief i've i've experienced when i for, when i read the manga for the first time that was horrendous i'm telling you i couldn't like accept the reality that it's true i was like in denial i was like thinking uh, fujimoto could you please rewrite it <laughs> This episode, I've seen the snippets where we'll have a little Aki, finally. He's like, story with the, with the devils and what they did to his family. And I think we are near the hotel arc, that's what I call it, because this is literally my favorite, probably one of my favorite arcs in Chainsaw Man. Uh, that shit is gonna be like, funny, scary, and just entertaining. So guys, let's watch it. Oh right, the cliffhanger, guys. <laughs> Power, shut up. The review, guys. Oh my god, poor boy. Yeah, Danji. The animation? Mappa really put all the animation into that squeeze. Like, I'm glad they're still like acting like buddies, you know? Nothing out of ordinary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Danji was expecting something more like, wow, but look at him. Um, he's so disappointed. Oh, this scene! Them, them eating together. He's been thinking about this all day, bro. <laughs> you know, the chase is better than the result. Because you have all these expectations, you know, but they are not what they are actually. The booby. No, girl, girl, just stay the fuck away. Every time Makima touches Danji, I want to fucking kill her. Like, I don't understand how some people could watch this and think, oh yeah, that's a ship. Bro, that's a jail. I know she's fooling him. She doesn't want to have sex with him or anything. She's just using him, but still. Oh, shit. <sighs> Dungeon is literally trying to survive. <laughs> I don't know how to comment on that one. <laughs> Someone call 911, please. No, girl, don't sit like that. I really feel so bad for Danji. Look, watch. Look what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She knows that she can manipulate him through this, through the intimacy. Yeah, the gun devil. And after doing the seduction technique, she's making him do the worst job ever. Like, look, she's smart as hell. That's what I can give her. Um, about that. Don't believe her, please. Don't. It's not allowed. You're 16, bro. <gasps> is that Aki? Yeah, that's an additional scene. I don't remember the starting like that. Oh, this is a little girl. That's beautiful. I'm fucking traumatizing. <laughs> I have flashbacks into the future. If you say two words, snowball fight to a Chainsaw Man fan who's read the manga, bitch, that's on site. Aww. Oh, 
No, don't go, don't go, don't grab the gloves, please. <laughs> don't make me wash this. The doors, guys, it's always the doors. <laughs> That was even fucking worse than in the manga. Imagine like your whole family was just wiped out. What did he do in that moment? I cannot imagine. Where did he go? Not now. Daijoubi. <laughs> this is a pun in Japanese. Daijoubu, like V, B, because in Japanese it's V. You know, I <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's funny, devil. My pretty man. Now you understand. Yeah, he wants revenge. <clears throat> oh, finally, hotel. Oh, my little, my little meow meow company. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite scene. <laughs> Gum. <laughs> Senpai. <laughs> They are so hilarious. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, you do have no rights. What's the fucking frown? He's so, he's so pissed off. My relationship with Himeno? No comments. Nah. <laughs> Did I <can> realize? <laughs> Did you realize it's Makima? Oh no. He's 16. Can you stop? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Ah, okay. Company's like, can I go home? All the shit that can happen in the hotel will happen there. <laughs> oh, Kishiba! Finally! His voice, though. Mm, I love this voice actor. I don't mind him any worse. He's so tall. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> I love power. I love how like happy she is because she gets to kill someone. Ah, ghost devil. Yeah, I think gun devil should look like a gun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I love these scenarios. <laughs> Yo, this ending is trippy. Hello? Ooh. I love this song though. That's a cool one. Hey guys, we're just watching a new episode of Chainsaw Man and oh boy, like every time in the media, in the manga, in the films, like in the anime, I don't care, there are like hotel settings, sign me up. That's my shit. I don't know what's like a 
about hotels, especially when it's a creepy, like something creepy, that's great. Like when they were, like they wanted to go from the ninth floor to the eighth or to the eighth or from the eighth to the ninth. I didn't get that one, but the hotel was tricking them literally. They were stuck in the same place. That's where the mind game starts and yo I, i'm so high for this arc it's not going to be a long one i think but still a very enjoyable one let's start with makima i just have a few words to say what the fuck <laughs> like when you know that a dude is a minor i would be like disgusted i don't know but i get her point like she's just trying to get him to do what she needs to do because she doesn't want to use her own hands and through the seduction through the like making him believe that she will have sex with him he will literally do anything because then she's like an open book she knows what he needs um and she's using it to her own advantage that's just her character okay but i still have this unpleasant taste in my mouth when i talk about her and the same goes to him and now uh, it's just uh, it's going to be more information later i just don't want to say anything just when she offered Denji like a kiss with a tongue. I, I bet she knows he's 16. I bet she knows. Um, so that's kind of another ick for me, like Himeno. But that's why I think that the best girls on Chainsaw Man are power and comedy for me. And comedy is also such an interesting character. I recently saw a thread on Twitter about her, about her like devil. Not gonna say anything because it hasn't been revealed yet, but the information that I got, because I forgot a lot of stuff about her. And for me, like she she has a lot of growth. She has she can be one of the like coolest characters on, on, on the in the manga and on the show. Uh so yeah, Aki's past is just tragic. Imagine like seeing your whole family being wiped out in front of your eyes. And where did he go? Like I said, where did he go? What did he do? Did he cry? Did he just... Did he just froze? I... So many questions. I just... I just have no idea how he felt. Well, that was horrible because when he was shown in the flashback with Himeno at the cemetery with Kishiba. Kishiba, by the way, I'm happy to see him and his voice actor Kendra Tsuda. I wanted him for, um, for Kishiba and I got him that's a win yeah when we saw Aki he was just already not smiling he was just dead inside and you can get his point he wants revenge with the gun devil I would want to probably if I was him a lot of shit on Aki's plate and for me like Aki him and a relationship are more like a mentor student and not romantic even though there will be like some hints but which I didn't like I don't know, I just... Because I love Aki so much and I think he deserves peace and quiet and not being involved in some, like, in some shit. That's just me. Ah, uh, yeah. Ak Denji and Power are so funny and I I just found out that Fujimoto was tweeting yesterday uh, when the, the episode was live. He was tweeting that the prank is somehow, like, Connected with the with the shit, literal shit. They put probably put shit on Aki's nose. <laughs> well, I would be mad too. Like he was mad, mad. He was so angry. And now that we know what the prank it was, because I thought maybe like something I don't know. Maybe they put something in his drink. No, that's that was worse than that. Mm, yeah, for me, Danji and Power are like these siblings. That boob grab though in the beginning, that felt hilarious. He didn't feel shit, he didn't feel anything, he was like, that's it. I guess that's it. But when, when it was with Makima, look, because they used different techniques, Power wasn't malicious about, about that. She just wanted to see his reaction. She just, she just wanted to get him as a reward. And she didn't seduce him. She literally just said there, you can start. And while Makima, she was in a close distance, she touched him, she like put his finger into her mouth, she did all this shit. Of course, Danji reacted differently when he started to grab her boobs, like, 
This is just different approaches. Like I said, Makima is too smart. Yeah, that hotel arc, like I really love these like last seven, eight minutes uh, with killing a little devil. Um, we know that Himeno has a ghost devil. Kabini for me is so funny. She's me if I was there. She's like, she's like, can I go home, please? Yeah, Danji being uh, fired up again because he wants to get a kissy kiss and like to, to have fun with Makima. He's ready to do all the dirty work. Power is just happy to be there, you know? Power is just this kind of person who just loves to kill. <laughs> She's just like, well, I'm here for the blood, for the kill. I'm fine. So yeah, guys, that was a great episode. I really love it. The shit has only started and there will be a lot of hilarious moments, but at the end, um, I would say that's a tragic story like Chainsaw Man for me because I'm not ready for the ending. I don't know, but right now I can just enjoy the comedy. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction and I will see you later. Bye.